Throw three darts at the map. Toss in three wildly distinctive personalities. I am a glass junkie. Plus three clever projects. And you've got a craft show that'll have you saying, that's clever. Hi, I'm Angela Martinez. Welcome to That's Clever. Crafters are constantly inventing new techniques for their artwork. This artist from California is diving into her mixed media project. She creates an underwater aquarium by painting an old window pane. Hi, my name is Mari Naomi. I live in San Francisco, California. Today I'm going to make this mixed media window painting and collage, which I call E Pluribus Aquarium. I'm going to go to my studio and paint. This is my studio, this is where I paint. This window pane came from the house of an artist. It is about a hundred years old. I'm going to turn this window into an aquarium by drawing fish on it. I'm going to use this wet erase marker to draw an outline of a fish. Next, I'm going to do some coral. Now that I have the design ready, I'm going to turn this around and paint on the back. I'm going to start on the fish head using blue-green paint. It's an acrylic gel, which is better for painting on glass. And I'm going to have to do several coats because this paint is very thin. Now, while the fish outline is drawing, I'm going to change paints to a nice aqua and do the coral. I started using window panes as canvases about four years ago when I found a bunch of old recycled windows on the street and I decided these would be pretty cool to paint on. So now, I'm gonna give it some color. With the same kind of acrylic gel paint that I'm using, I'm giving it short little strokes, kinda like fish scales. I'm gonna put about five or six layers on this fish. It's gonna be really yellow. Now I'm gonna give him some eyes. Well, one eye. A fish eye. Now that my fish is ready, I am going to wipe off where I had the wet erase marker. For my next trick, I'm going to do the background. I've cleared some space out, put the frame back there, and I'm just gonna get a little messy now. I am using some acrylic latex because it's cheap and there's a lot of it and it spreads easily. This blue is supposed to be the ocean. Now that this is done drying, I'm going to add a little motion to my ocean. I'm going to use some white paint and a big fan brush so that I can really get wavy. Now I'm going to let it dry. Now that this is dry, I'm going to add some dark blue paint. A little stitching outlines all over the painting to accentuate the ocean. I'm using my detail brush for this. I just keep adding lines until I feel like the canvas is all filled up. Now that all my lines are drawn, I am happy with how it turned out, so I'm going to add some fish to my ocean. These are the fish I drew earlier, and I'm going to color them in, cut them out, and put them in the ocean where they belong. Nice and yellow. Now I'm going to cut it out. I'm cutting around the lines instead of on the lines because I want to keep the thickness of my brush strokes for the black parts. Now I'm going to paint a whole school of fish, all colors, sizes, and shapes. I've also made some coral. 
now that I have all my fish in place, I'm going to glue them on. Gluing, 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 gluing. I'm using a glaze for this particular collage. It acts as a glue and also as kind of a varnish. Before it dries, I gotta use this brush to smooth it out. Oops, oh gosh. Stay, fishes. Now that the glaze is dry, I'm going to add the background to the window pane. That'll look nice. Now, I'm going to tack it all down. Now that I've secured the back of the painting, I am going to pretty it up a little bit by adding a swatch of fabric. Now I'm going to tuck in the sides and use a staple gun to secure it. Now that I've assembled all my pieces, my work is finished. This old window has been magically transformed into a very low-maintenance aquarium.